Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be talking about what is the mass of the universe? Well, we can't actually see the entire universe, so determining its size and its mass is impossible. What we can calculate is its density, or its mass, in a given volume. While we might not be able to measure the entire universe, we can see a lot of space, stretching billions and billions of light years into every direction. And when we look into these spaces, we can see millions upon millions of galaxies and galaxy clusters. A galaxy like our Milky Way contains the equivalent of a million million suns. And since the sun weighs two million 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 kilograms, this makes the galaxy pretty massive. These numbers can get very large and, in a sense, quite meaningless. But scientists can write these numbers in a certain way that doesn't make it as much as a headache to read. For example, the Sun's mass in kilograms is 2 followed by 30 zeros. This can be written down as 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. This is much better to look at and doesn't waste as much space. But, back to the galaxies, they're pretty far apart and they're arranged in groups and clusters with enormous voids between them. So basically speaking, what is the overall density of these clusters? Well, it turns out that it's pretty low. So why essentially is it low? Well, if the universe was smoothed out, there would be an equivalent to 6 protons every cubic metre. Compare this with the air on Earth, you wouldn't consider it particularly dense. For example, a cubic metre of air weighs about 1 kilogram, which is equivalent to 600 million 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 protons. Again, sorry about the big numbers. This means that to reduce the density of the air to the average density of the universe, you would need to expand every cubic centimetre until it reached beyond the moon's orbit. So essentially, that's pretty intense expansion for something very small. So, the universe is not very dense, but it is pretty big. But, even a very low density could add up to a pretty large mass. Basically because the universe has a lot of space. The universe is around about 45 billion light years across. Assuming this volume and the density that we worked out earlier, the mass of the visible universe is 10 to the 53 kilograms. This is an astronomical number. So that is an equivalent to a million million galaxies like the Milky Way. It's quite remarkable that in our universe we have this hierarchy of mass, going from our sun, to our galaxy, to clusters of galaxies, to the entire universe. And all of these masses, volumes, and densities have all been calculated by brilliant scientists in the modern space age. These measurements of the mass of the universe have been calculated with astonishing accuracy. And as the universe keeps on expanding, we will understand more and more about these numbers within our universe. So, I hope that's given you a good understanding into the mass of the universe and how it's calculated. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you've really, really, really enjoyed it, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.